I just posted a video about psychic attacks and when I went to post that video, I could see that the creators involved with the drama that I'm referencing have actually deleted all of their videos. So I can tell that this isn't something that people want to continue to talk about necessarily and I'm definitely sending love to everyone involved. But I just want to continue to expand on some of the topics that were brought to the surface here. One of them is that this intuitive woman has stated that she felt so, so called to do something, so, so called to say something, and obviously it backfired and she deleted the videos. I know that she is not alone in that feeling. Have you ever felt so called to speak up or so called to bring up a topic? but that whole conversation ends up backfiring for you. So many intuitive people end up doubting themselves, gaslighting themselves, and no longer trusting their own intuition to speak up when this happens. But actually what is happening here is that you were 100% guided to put yourself out there to speak up in that way, even though it might not have necessarily resulted in the conversations that you thought were going to happen from you speaking up. The reason that you were guided to speak up in that way is not because your voice is always going to be the voice that changes the whole entire world, but sometimes your voice is the voice that changes your own world. Sometimes when we speak up, we can notice, oh wow, that was really not a good use of my energy. Let me take inventory of my energy and myself, and it can really be a wake-up call for ourselves, and we can start operating in a much higher frequency and a much higher alignment with our true selves. So you never ever have to doubt your intuition or doubt yourself for following your intuition. And if your intuition has led you to places that don't feel as comfortable or maybe were not what you wanted or not what you planned for, it's so important to be able to surrender in that moment to accept that, yes, I am not creator of this universe. I'm just someone who's meant to follow my own intuition. So by doing that, it led me here where I'm able to empower myself with new skills, new lessons, and things that can support me for the rest of my life. Having a really solid and grounded mindset throughout your spiritual lessons is so, so valuable. With these topics, so many people are talking about things like delusions and people living in their own realities and things like that. And I want to just shed light on the fact that every single person in this world, whether you're a spiritual person, whether you're a psychic person, an intuitive person or not, every single person lives in their own reality or their own delusion to a sense. If you value being someone who wants to be a leader, who wants to be an embodiment of light on this planet, then it's really important for you to project your light, your vision into this planet as opposed to your shadows. We can get so easily stuck in our shadows when we follow our intuition and we think that we're doing everything right and then things don't work out the way that we wanted them to. So it's really, really important to remember that this is daily work to empower yourself, to cleanse your energy, to think happy, positive thoughts, thoughts that empower your soul in the long run. But I would much rather be doing the work of being proactive in my soul journey and in my soul alignment rather than cleaning up all of my unconscious mistakes that I've made. So we are all making a choice and choosing consciousness really does pay off in the long run. I know we've made it into a few tangents here, but coming back to our main topic, you never ever have to feel like you are bad at following your intuition just because things are not working out the way that you thought that they would. Maybe your intuition is leading you into the lesson of understanding this is how it feels, this is how I support myself when things don't work out the way that I plan for them. That's a really, really beautiful and valuable lesson that you can have for the rest of your life. So I'm not telling you to have blind faith, but I am telling you to be a little bit more creative, a little bit more curious about your circumstances when you find yourself in circumstances that are not so comfortable, how are they serving you in the long run? Last week, I was teaching a live stream class where one of my students 
shared with me something that absolutely changed her life, which is the concept of this too shall pass. Reminding yourself when things are rough that you are literally born to be resilient and that you will find a solution. You don't need to grind yourself or spin on a hamster wheel in order to make things better. Wounds heal by just exposing them to air and sunlight and sending them good vibes. So if you're feeling so confused about following your intuition, so confused about the signs of the universe and things of that nature, I want you to know that that confusion is actually a part of your journey and it is a part of your highest alignment. So just stay resilient.